Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and young people, and welcome along to the 2021 Youth Council and Scottish Youth Parliament elections for Dumfries and Galloway region. Really delighted for the people who have been able to make it in person tonight to the Oasis Youth Centre, but also to the large number that are watching online tonight. The Youth Council and Youth Parliament is really important to our Council and it's important that young people's voices are heard not only across Scotland through the Youth Parliament but also locally uh, in terms of the work that our Council is doing but also a number of other partners. And tonight I think it's testament to the interest in young people having their voices heard with the number of young people that stood for election uh, over the last few months, particularly after the difficult year we've had with COVID-19. So it's real testament to young people that are willing to put themselves up for election and, and stand and be voted on by their peers. So I know that there will be some young people tonight that are maybe a bit disappointed, but hopefully that will not put you off and will encourage you more to be involved in other ways within Dumfries and Galloway and nationally. And also to the youth councillors and members of the youth parliament that are elected tonight, I really look forward to working with you, as does all the youth work team over the, the coming months. Tonight we've got a number of councillors and members of parliament and members of the Scottish Parliament watching online and some key members with us tonight in person. So they, tonight uh, Councillor Wilson, uh, who's our council's young people's champion, will act as the returning officer for the event and, uh, and Adam, as a, a former member of the youth parliament himself, knows exactly how you're all feeling when you are uh, sitting there. So I know some of you are a wee bit nervous. So try and enjoy tonight and try and make uh, the, the most of the fact that we're actually even able to come in person uh, and it's not fully online. I think that's a big step forward for us in, uh, in Scotland. And tonight, uh, as we go through it, we will kick off in a few minutes with Hannah Burse, who has done an absolute outstanding job as the uh, chair of the previous Youth Council for the last two years. I think we've been hugely, hugely fortunate to have Hannah's leadership in taking forward the, the Youth Council supported by other youth councillors uh, uh, over the last last uh, few years and, and Ellie as vice chair as well. So I really thank both of them for, for coming along. I know they're, they're both very, very nervous as well, but I think it's important to pay testament to the work and commitment that they've done. And I think that they, uh, they've they really set the benchmark for young people who uh, get involved and are elected tonight. And I think it's really important that we all, every adult, whether it be within the council, or partners or parents, that we really encourage young people to get their voices heard. I think if you see the, uh, the, the power of young people's voice just with the recent COP26 conference and other national issues, I think as this week is the national hashtag I will week, which is about involving young people in social action projects and volunteering in their communities. And I think it's really a testament that these elections across Scotland are taking place this week. So thank you everybody for, for coming along uh, and I think that hopefully tonight again shows the real commitment this council has and will have going ahead to make sure that the voices of young people influence decisions that are made within this region. And we might not always get it right, but we do try to make sure that young people influence and shape that. And I'm sure what Hannah's going to cover will mention that a wee bit more. When we go on tonight, just if anyone needs to use the toilets during the proceedings, feel free to go. The, uh, the toilets in this building are gender neutral toilets uh, in line uh, with uh, the recent award of the LGBT charter mark uh, for the Council's Youth Work Service, which we're absolutely delighted with. And uh, that's something that we have within all our youth centres across the region. So there's toilets at either side of the building. If the fire alarm goes off, the noise is very, very loud, so I do apologise for those online who then hear it coming through your computer, but it'll be even louder for those in the room. So if that happens, the meeting point's just uh, across the road at the car park. And also, if I can ask from a COVID-19 perspective, as, as you know, if you're in the room, the, the seats are social distance between bubbles. Uh, but if you're travelling about the, the building at any point to go to the toilets or at the end, if you can remember to put on your face covering, that would be hugely, hugely appreciated. So thank you uh, very much again for, for coming along. And, uh, and I just want to uh, hand over to Hannah Burse, who is the outgoing uh, chair of the Youth Council, uh, who has served for the last few years uh, and uh, is a member of the Scottish Youth Parliament as well. And as I said, Hannah's done an absolute amazing job and, uh, and I really, uh, truly mean that. So I welcome Hannah uh, to the stage. She'll take us through the first part of tonight.
Uh, I'm Hannah. I'm, as Mark said, the chair of the Youth Council and was MSYP for Galway and Western Freeze last term. Tonight I'm going to do a bit of reflection on the first ever term of Dumfries and Galway Youth Council. Every single member got different things out of being a member of the Youth Council. Members were involved in a variety of projects regionally and in local areas. The youth councillors in Annan, for example, Erin, Tash and Connor, were heavily involved in the new inclusive play park. Ellie from Newton Stewart submitted a youth council motion to better the perception of CAM service regionally. As well as this, youth councillors as a whole were responsible for giving out £120,000 of participatory budgeting funding to the local communities through the 10,000 Voices in Action project. The Youth Council highlight of the term was our two annual joint meetings with St. Fries and Galway Council. We are so privileged to have this commitment from our council to meet, to meet us annually, to discuss and to work on issues affecting young people together. Um, the first uh, joint council took place in February 2020, just before the pandemic. And our second one took place, although slightly delayed because of the pandemic, just in September. My personal highlight of my time in Youth Council was co-chairing this meeting alongside Council Leader Elaine Murray and Youth Council Vice Chair Ellie. But a wee bit about the Youth Council. So we held on, well, we started off with in-person meetings uh, before, the youth, uh, before the pandemic, but then as the pandemic hit, we quickly moved on to um, online meetings via Zoom, where we spoke about local issues, uh, in Wickenshire, Stuart Tree, Nestdale and Annandale and Nestdale. And as well, and also our regional project groups, which uh, we selected as being environment, mental health and equalities. But for those members who are unsuccessful tonight, there are loads of other projects you can be involved in. Um, so bear that in mind and uh, good luck everyone. I don't know what else to say, but yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Sorry, let me just put my mask away first. Um, it's great to, to be here in, in person and, to, and welcome to everybody who's joining us virtually as well. Um, thank you very much for that, Hannah. I think um, you gave a really good overview of just some of the achievements that yourself and the wider Youth Council have had over the last two years. Um, and, and thank you very much for all the work that, that you've put in. Um, I think secondly as well, thank you to Mark for, for the introduction. As I was sitting down, uh, listening to Mark, it dawned on me that it was 10 years ago that I stood to be a member of the Scottish Parliament, um, which um, I didn't realise how long it had been, let's put it that way. And if we think of the change that has been in the last 18 months, there's certainly been a lot of change um, in the last decade. And most of it, thankfully, for the good. Um, so tonight we'll be announcing the results of the Dumfries and Galway Council, Youth Council elections, including the Scottish Parliament elections, uh, which have been, uh, the elections have been ran over the last fortnight, and a number of the um, Scottish Youth Parliament election results from all across Scotland have been feeding in over the last 24 hours, and will continue to do so over the next couple of days. I'd like to just pause for a second and acknowledge, um, again, the work that Hannah and the First Youth Council have undertaken from their election in April 2019 um, to, to the start of this month. Over the last two and a half years, the Youth Council have, had, have been excellent champions for um, our young people throughout the region. Um, over 5,000 hours of volunteering have been carried out over their term. Just some of the achievements, as Hannah said, the, the two joint meetings with Dumfries and Galway um, Council has been absolutely phenomenal. The, the change that I see since I was elected as a councillor in 2017, both in policy and on the ground for young people, is absolutely amazing co-designing the amazing summer programme, which saw over half a million pounds invested in free activities, events and projects for young people throughout the summer holidays. Um, and I don't know about the young people, they all had smiles on their faces when I went out, but it was one of the first activities I did after lockdown, and I certainly had a great time. So um, just a, a small testament of how much I am grateful for, for that work. Um, it was great to see, and it was really good to be back out across the region. They led on research, including the impact of COVID uh, and young people's perception of CAMs, two issues that um, the, the pandemic in itself has been a, a, a significant challenge for young people, and our young people have been acutely affected. Um, 
but mental health has long been a problem identified by young people in this region and uh, the work led by our young youth councillors and MSYPs on mental health has been staggering. I think they have really helped us to shape services both in council and NHS for the better. The purpose of the Youth Council is to ensure that young people in Dumfries and Galway are included and heard when decisions about them are being made. Whilst there's some way to go and there's always improvement that can be made, the difference that our Youth Council and Youth Councillors and MSYPs have made cannot be underestimated. Despite COVID-19, our Youth Council have only met in person seven times and before the, national, the first national lockdown. The Youth Council have continued, as has been demonstrated many times tonight, um, have, have really made sure that young people across Dunfrey Galway are heard and that the decisions made at various levels um, reflect the needs and the desires of young people here in Dunfrey and Galloway. So I, I would like to again thank all of the members of the Youth Council for their work, but a special thank you to Hannah as Chair and to Ellie as Vice Chair, who have been exceptional leaders over the last year, and um, I, I wish you the best of luck. Um, tonight and for the future. The Regional Youth Council will consist of 35 elected individuals. Two elected representatives from um, ward youth councillors representing each of the 12 wards in Dumfries and Galloway. There's also seven nominated representatives known as nominated youth councillors who will be responsible for representing the views of young people whose identities and circumstances can often mean that they are excluded or seldom heard in decision making. Young people in these positions will be elected to represent their community of interest. Finally, the Youth Council also includes the four members of the Scottish Youth Parliament for the region. MSYPs are responsible for taking experiences in young people's locally and taking action on these with the national decision makers through the Scottish Youth Parliament. The elections were initially planned to take place in March 2021, but were postponed understandably due to the pandemic. This change has also ensured that they are aligned to the na national-wide Scottish Youth Parliament elections. The vote has taken place between Monday the 8th and Sunday the 21st of November, with over 50 public polling stations, stations throughout Dumfries and Galloway. Voting has taken place in communities through school, youth organisations and mobile voting sessions. There were 81 individuals standing for election and a total of 2,248 votes cast for, from young people aged between 12 and 25. Also slightly sad, it was my last time voting in um, the Scottish Parliament and Youth Council elections. Now on to the results. The next hour or so will follow the same format for each election announcement, and hopefully I won't mess it up. First, the candidates standing um, will be read out, followed by the total valid and spoilt votes, and finishing with a successful candidate announcement. To ensure we move through the results in a timely manner, I ask that applause is he held until the end, until all candidates have been read out. Uh, I just want to say good luck to all candidates, those who are in the room, but those joining us virtually as well. First, we are going to announce the Scottish Youth Parliament positions, first of all, for the Galloway and Western Fleece constituency. In total, 15 candidates have been campaigning for two positions. The following young people have stood as candidates. Alistair Marshall, Andrew Sinden, Anya McCready, Edward Christie, Ellie Wadsworth, Ellie Miller, Eva McCammon, Finlay Anderson, Hannah Burst, Katie Henderson, Lisa McLaughlin, May Tang, Robert Burkett, Sophie Wilson, and Violet Raphael. And for I can confirm that for the Galway and West Dumfries constituency, a total of 524 votes were cast for the Scottish Parliament election. Uh, of this, 506 were counted and 18 were spoiled. And I can declare that Finlay Anderson and Alistair Marshall have been duly elected to serve as members of the Scottish Parliament for Galway and West Dumfries constituency. And both Finlay and Alistair are here um, tonight, so if you would be able to come up, that would be greatly appreciated. Well done, both Finlay and Alistair. <laughs>
So w well done to both. Next, we are going to announce the Scottish Parliament election results for the Dumfrieshire constituency. In total, 11 candidates have been campaigning for two elected positions, and the following young people stood as candidates. Caitlin McLoon, Cameron Greer, Ellie McConaughey, Erin Shannon, Katie Cooney, Mia Beatty, Molly Grieve, Naomi Scott, Ria Irving, Robin Martin, and Ryan Park. I can confirm that a total of 455 votes were cast in the Dumfrieshire constituency for the Scottish Parliament election. Of this, 444 were counted and 11 were spoilt. I can declare that Ailey McCondicke and Cameron Greer have been duly elected to serve as the members of the Scottish Parliament for the Dumfrieshire constituency. And I'm pleased that both Ailey and Cameron are in the room with us tonight. So, moving on to our Regional Youth Council elections. First of all, uh, I'm going to start with the Snra and the Rins Ward election results. In total, 11 candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions. The following young people have stood as candidates. Amy Lavery, Chloe Allison, Ellie Miller, Eve McCammon, Jack Moore, May Tang, Molly Madougal, Robert Burkett, Sophie Wilson, Stephen Jones and Violet Raphael. And I can confirm that a total of 129 votes were cast in the St. Rennes Ward election. Of this, 129 were counted and there were no spot ballot papers. I can declare that Chloe Allison and Jack Moore have been elected to serve as Ward Youth Councillors from St. Rennes on Dumfries and Galway Youth Council. And I'm pleased that Chloe is in the room with us tonight um, and Jack will receive his certificate at the first Youth Council meeting. Well done, Chloe. <laughs> I'm now going to announce the Mid Galway and Wigton West Award election results. So, if you've guessed it, we're moving from west to east. Uh, there were four candidates who have been campaigning for the two positions. The following young people stood as candidates Ellie Wadsworth, Finlay Anderson, Jasper Williams, and Lee Faulkner. Sorry, I'm not used to speaking for this amount of time. COVID, eh? Uh, I can confirm that a total of 161 votes were cast in the Mid Galloway and Wigton West Ward election. Of this, 159 were counted and two ballots were spoilt. I can declare that Ellie Wadsworth and Jasper Williams were elected to serve as youth councillors for Mid Galloway and Wigton West. Uh, congratulations, both Ellie and Jasper, and I'm pleased that they're both in the room tonight to receive their certificates. Uh, I am now going to announce the D and Glen Kenward election results. In total, seven candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions. The following young people stood as candidates. Uh, Campbell Andrews, Crawford King, Daisy Lees, Elizabeth Stevenson, Hannah Buss, Lewis Young and Tori McMurray. And I can confirm that a total of 85 votes were cast in the D and Glen Kenward elections. Of this, 83 were counted and two ballots were spoilt. I can declare that you, Lewis Young and Elizabeth Stevenson have been elected as ward councillors for Dean Glen Kenyans, and I'm delighted that they're both in the room with us tonight. I am now going to announce the Castle Douglas and Crockettford Ward election results. In total, 13 candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions. The following young people stood as candidates. Ailey McGaw, Alistair Marshall, Andrew Sidon, Anya McCready, eh, Harvey Richardson Sutton, Joshua Butcher, Katie Henderson, Lacey McLaughlin, Liam McQueen, Ryan Kerr, Sky McCubbin, Tegan Hinchcliffe, Tommy Kelly, and that is 
I can confirm that a total of 98 votes were cast in the Castle Douglas and Crockettford ward elections. Uh, of this, 96 were counted and two ballots were spoiled. I can declare that Anya McCready and Andrew Seiden have been duly elected as ward councillors for Castle Douglas and Crockettford, and I'm pleased that Anya is in the room with us tonight. So we're now moving on to the Abbey Ward election results. In total, two candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions, uh, and as such, the election was uncontested. So I'm delighted to announce that Edward Christie and Nico Colligan have been elected as youth councillors for uh, Abbey Ward. Congratulations, and they're both in the room tonight. Okay, we'll now move on to North West and Free Ward election. In total, four candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions. The fallen young people have stood as candidates. Uh, Dennis D. Houston, Emily Thompson, Jake Pollock and Katie Cooney. I can confirm that a total of 89 votes were cast in the North West and Free Ward election. Of this, 87 were counted and two ballots were spoilt. I hereby declare that Dennis D. Houston and Katie Cooney have been elected as ward councillors for North Western Fleece, and I'm pleased to say they're both in the room. So we're now going to move on to the Mid and Upper Nisty Award election results. In total, four candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions. The following young people have stood as candidates. Demi Lee Stacey, Emily Allen, Grace Bryden-Brown and Murray Thompson. I can confirm that a total of 94 votes were cast for Mid and Upper Nisdale Award. Of this, 91 were counted and three ballots were spoilt. I can declare that Grace Bryden Brown and Murray Thompson have been elected to serve as ward councillors for Mid and Upper Nisdale. Unfortunately, both are joining virtually, but they will receive their certificates at the first youth council meeting. But let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> We're now moving to the Lock Award election results. In total, three candidates have been campaigning for two elected positions. The following young people have stood as candidates. Bryony Thompson, Katie McLoon and Riley True. I can confirm that a total of 59 votes were cast in the Lock Award elections. Of this, 59 were counted and no ballots were spoiled. And I can declare that Riley True and Bryony Thompson have been elected as ward councillors. <laughs> Congratulations, I'm now going to announce the Nith Ward election results. In total, nine candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions. The following young people have stood as candidates. Ellie McCondicke, um, Eve Page Briggs, Iona Cottle, Jamie Stewart, Lucy Waugh, Robin Martin, Chardonnay Ray, Sky Allen and Thomas Payne. I can confirm that a total of 180 votes were cast in the Nith Ward election. Of this, all 180 were counted. And I declare that Lucy Waugh and Thomas Payne were elected to serve as ward councillors for Nith. And I can confirm they're both in the room with us tonight. Uh, I'm now going to announce the Annandale South Ward election results. In total, five candidates uh, have been campaigning to be elected to the two positions. The following young people have stood as candidates. 
Eva Seller, Megan Nelson, Natasha O'Neill, Ryan Park, and Saskia Grandis. And I can confirm a total of 64 votes were cast in the Andale Southward election. Of the 63 were counted and one ballot was spoilt. And I can declare that Eva Seller and Megan Nelson were elected as ward councillors for Andale South. And both are with us here tonight. And I'm now going to announce the Annandale North Ward election results. In total, 10 candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions, and the following young people have stood as candidates. Callan Finlay, Campbell Moore, Erin Shannon, Lauren Jack, Logan Teasdale, Mia Beatty, Molly Grieve, Naomi Scott, Shawnee Craig, and Theo Dyerica. I can confirm a total of 116 votes were cast in the Andale North Ward election. Of this, 114 were counted and two ballots were spoiled. And I can declare that Campbell Moore and Logan Teasdale have been elected to serve as Ward Youth Councillors for Andale North Ward. Uh, neither Campbell or Logan are here tonight. They're watching virtually, but can we give them a round of applause? So I'm now going to announce the Annandale East and Estdale ward election results. In total, three candidates have been campaigning to be elected to two positions. The following young people have stood as candidates, Cameron Greer, Connor Taylor and Kenzie Miller. I can confirm that a total of 71 votes were cast in the Annandale East and Estdale ward. Of this, 68 were counted and three ballots were spoiled. I hereby declare that Connie Taylor and Kenzie Miller were elected to serve as youth councillors for Annandale East and Estdale Ward. Unfortunately, neither Connie or Kenzie are with us tonight. They are watching virtually, but can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> so that concludes the election results for the ward members for the geographical areas of Dumfries and Galway Youth Council. So, can we please give all the um, successful candidates, but also all the candidates who put themselves forward, because it takes a lot of guts and gumption to put yourself forward for uh, elections. So can we please give all the candidates a round of applause? <laughs> so we will now move on to the nominated positions for the Dumfries and Galway Youth Council, and we're going to begin with Young Carer Youth Council position. This election was uncontested, and so I'd like to announce that uh, Orlicia Kennedy Moffat was elected as the Young Carer Youth Council role, and uh, she's with us here tonight, thankfully. Uh, we're now going to announce the Ethnic Minority Youth Council election results. In total, two candidates have been campaigning to be elected to this position. The following young people have stood as candidates, May Tang and Mia Beatty. I can confirm that 25 votes were cast um, in the ethnic minority nominated youth council election. Uh, all 25 were counted and none were spoiled. And I can declare that May Tang has been duly elected to serve as a nominated youth councillor for the ethnic minority youth on Dumfries and Galloway Youth Council. Unfortunately, May is not with us tonight, but can we give her a round of applause? I am now going to announce the Additional Support Needs and Disabilities Youth Council election results. In total, eight candidates have been campaigning to be elected to the position. The following young people have stood as candidates. Bryony Thompson, Eva Briggs, Finlay Anderson, Jamie Stewart, Lewis Johnston, Leah McQueen, Naomi Scott and Violet Raphael. I can confirm that 62 votes were cast in additional support needs and disabilities nominated youth council election. Of this, 62 were counted and none were spoiled. And I can declare that Lewis Johnson has been uh, elected to serve as a nominated youth councillor for young people with additional support needs and disabilities. And Lewis is here with us tonight.
Uh, I'm now going to announce the LGBT Youth Council election results. In total, 12 candidates have been campaigning to be elected to the position. The following young people have stood as candidates. Anya McCready, Edward Christie, Elizabeth Stevenson, Ellie McCondicke, Eva Seller, Iona Cottle, Katie Cooney, Leah Faulkner, Megan Nelson, Nico Colligan, Theo Darissia, and Thomas Payne. I can confirm a total of 50 votes were cast in the LGBT nominated youth council election. Of this, 49 were counted and one by ballot was spoiled. And I declare that Thea Dorissia was elected as the nominated youth councillor for LGBT youth. Um, Theo isn't with us tonight, she's watching virtually, but can we give her a round of applause? <laughs> So that completes all the results announcements um, for the Dumfries and Galway Youth Council elections of 2021. I want to congratulate all of the candidates um, for putting yourself forward. It does take um, guts and you have all achieved so much. As Hannah said earlier on, the Youth Council is just one thing that um, our Youth Work Service does across the region and there are a number. So I got to the end and it turns out I completely missed one. So apologies for that. It was so far, but not quite there. So I'm actually going to announce the last but not least um, position for key experienced uh, youth councillor election results. In total, four candidates have been campaigning to be elected to the position. The following young people have stood as candidates. Anna Hammond, Chloe Allison, Chardonnay Ray and Sophie Wilson. And I can confirm that a total of 33 votes were cast in the Care Experience nominated Youth Council election. Of this, 33 were counted and none were spoiled. And I declare that Sophie Wilson has been duly elected to serve as a nominated Youth Councillor for Care Experience Young People. And for a uh, Sophie is joining us uh, virtually, but can we give her a round of applause? So that really does complete the announcements of the Dumfries and Galway Youth Council elections for, for 2021. I, I do want to, again, because now we've actually heard all the candidates, I want to congratulate them again. Can we please give them a big round of applause? I just want to say, um, as the Council's Young People's Champion, I have been absolutely amazed at what our Youth Council has achieved in the last two years. So I really cannot wait to see what our new Youth Council councils, um, achieves, because I'm sure that um, you will go on to achieve even more. Uh, and I look forward to playing my part in helping you in whatever way I can to achieve that. So please, um, Pester me, pester every elected member in Dumfries and Galloway Council, make use of the Youth Council Inquiry Service um, and make sure that you have the best two years and make a difference in Dumfries and Galloway. And for those of you who unfortunately haven't been elected tonight, I look forward to seeing you at whatever um, event and activity you get involved in our Youth Council Service because there are so many opportunities and I really encourage you to make the most of every single one of them. But I will now hand over to Mark for the closing remarks. Congratulations once again to um, every candidate. Congratulations to those who were elected. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you. Thanks, folks, and, uh, and thank you to Councillor Wilson, who uh, agreed to take on that returning officer role, I think, before he realised how much was involved in it. So, can we just give a round of applause to Councillor Wilson for taking us through tonight? <laughs> and 
I'll, I'll just finish with how I started, where I, you know I was very vague around. You know, at that point, we didn't know who was who had won uh, each of the elections. But just to echo Councillor Wilson's test, uh, statement around how much courage it takes for young people to stand for election, and I think that is uh, you know huge credit to everyone in the room and everyone online, uh, and especially uh, as well to the youth workers who have supported the young people through the training and the election period. Uh, and I know tonight, uh, I just want to acknowledge as well uh, Councillor Ferguson and uh, Councillor Thompson uh, who have attended tonight uh, as well to, to show the, 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 the support uh, for the Youth Council along with the, the number of members that are online tonight. So thank you everybody uh, for, for attending tonight. There is uh, tea and coffee for those who are in the room. Unfortunately, uh, hopefully you can put the kettle on if you're at home, but uh, for those that are in the room, then there is tea and coffee and refreshments next door. Uh, and just a wee word for, for any of the young people that have stood for election and maybe not been successful, or those that have, there's loads of youth workers in the room tonight that you can go and have a wee chat to if you need to. Just uh, go and uh, grab one of them. There's plenty of staff here. It'll happily catch you for five minutes if that would help you in any way. So thank you, everybody, again, for attending tonight. Thanks to everybody who put tonight together, uh, especially to Regan Jackson, who has led uh, the work and the elections work absolutely brilliantly over the, the last number of weeks uh, and, and has organised tonight. So I just want to give a round of applause to Regan and to the other youth workers that have uh, supported the election period for the last few weeks. <laughs> I think that's us for tonight. I'm just checking that I've not missed anything in my notes that Regan has left me, but I, I have actually. Can I uh, ask all the candidates, whether you've been successful or not, to come up to the stage just for a, a, a socially distanced group photo and we'll say goodbye to those in the live stream. So it is a bit like Eurovision and you'll now get cut off now. Uh, so thank you very much.